What's up, everybody? Welcome to uh, the first week of our small groups. And my name is Pastor Chris, and I have the absolute honor of being able to oversee our small groups. And let me ask you a question. Have you ever been in a tension before? Have you ever been in a gap of one side is saying that this is what God has said, this is what he's spoken in me, um, maybe God has promised you something, maybe you feel like God is moving something in your heart, but then there's the other side of this where it's like, but well, this is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm I'm experiencing. And it's not what it, it it's not what God is saying. It's not what I feel like, you know, what God promised me. And what happens? You're in a gap. There's there's some tension there. And I gotta tell you, sometimes we're in the gap, um, there can be some tension. And if we're not careful, we can put things in the gap that we're not supposed to. One of those things is fear where, man, what if God isn't who he says he is? Or what if God isn't gonna come through? Or maybe um, I'm just not good enough and God's just not gonna uh, come through on my behalf. Um, we gotta say no to that. That's not who God is. God is a fulfiller of his word and um, he is a promise keeper. And so instead of putting fear in there, what if we put in faith? that even though I don't see it right now, God, you are who you say you are. I am gonna take you at your word and that no matter what I see, no matter what I feel, um, I'm right now, um, I'm gonna have faith in you, in your character. And can I just say, guys, that is gonna that, that is the vision from our pastors, Pastors Matt and Jackie this year, is that we're gonna imagine more this year. And specifically right now, we're gonna imagine more faith. Can I ask you, Maybe what is God is asking you to imagine more faith in? Maybe it's within your family, your home. Maybe it's in within your finances, your maybe maybe your job, maybe within your church, maybe just in your soul. God is asking you to believe in things that maybe you just didn't want to believe in anymore. And so guys, this small group season, um, we're going to imagine more faith in these areas. And uh, I'm grateful that uh, Pastor Matt He's going to be doing a sermon series along with us in our small groups for us to imagine more faith in these areas. So here's what we want you to do is that we want you to posture your hearts towards heaven and ask the Lord this small group season, God, what do you personally want me to imagine more faith in? And it could be from a Sunday message. It could be from something that's talked about in your small group. It could even be in just your personal um, intimate times with the Lord where he reveals to you what it is. But guys, we want you to hear from heaven. Um, we want to come alongside of you as a small group, as a church. And we're going to be praying that there's going to be steps that are taken, stories that are made, and that we're going to imagine more faith together in Jesus' name. Okay? And so again, welcome to the small groups for this season. And then also, we want you to get the most out of this small group season. And so I just want to give four things I think that are going to really help you out, okay? Help help me out as well. Is number one is show up. We know that uh, great things can't happen unless we show up. So there is um, the discipline of consistency that, man, I may have had a hard day. Maybe my kids are crazier than usual. Maybe I, I worked some overtime at my job. Man, I am going to show up because um, I want to you know, reap the, the, the benefits and the discipline of being in community, okay? So one, show up. Two, be real. Um, you know, God isn't interested in the um, the fake you, the, the future you. He's interested in the real you. And so are we. And so bring your, help, bring your whole self to your small group and uh, let's be real. Number three is engage. Um, you have something to offer and it's specific. And so when it comes to the group time, man, lean in. Let's have a posture of growth and uh, let's lean in, man, to the hard conversations, the questions. Let's lean into the scriptures and to what God's saying to us. And the fourth one is, I actually just said it just a little bit ago, is you have something to offer. It doesn't matter if you've been a Christian for a day, a week, a decade, and maybe you're not even a follower of Christ yet, um, but you're curious about faith. You have something to offer. And so I'm um, so grateful that you um, are part of our groups this season. Let's do those four things. Show up, be real, engage. You have something to offer. And I know God's going to meet every single one of our small groups this season. Love you guys. And let's go.